Everyone has been really nice. <laughs> Must have smudged the design. <laughs> project that I'm working on. It's been quite fun getting their paints out and doing a bit of detail work. It's Friday evening now, it's about half six, so this is kind of practically dawn for me. So, so far this week it's been pretty good, I've kind of been able to get things done. A lot of it has been work for my more regular clients, just because it's a busy time for the hospitality industry. They're good clients of mine and the client's also a good friend, so I want to make sure that I keep on top of their work too and don't let them down. Also, I got an email from Reluca today about the, some of the comments on the video before last, which is where at the end I was kind of having a, a fairly well composed breakdown <laughs> about how, how much kind of work I still had to do and it basically it was my own fault about how behind I was. And everyone has been really nice and I just want to say thank you to the people who have kind of watched it and commented and say that they actually it's something they can really easily relate to and it's so nice to, to hear that. I think we all know that we suffer from it but when you kind of get caught up with it in your own head it's very easy to forget that other people, you know, other people have that too. When you get comments like that and people can actually connect with you on a kind of more human level, it's this is what makes this really really worthwhile so you know that, thank you so much i really i really appreciate it and i will catch up with social media and being a bit more active on there again like i said everything's just a bit kind of at the minute so i will get on the case now that was the kind of work that kind of came in for the royal oak and the sparagasm has kind of been done dusted for a little while and get back to design cuts and my little pictures so it, it really is just a case now of just kind of putting in the hours and drawing and like Short, pressure sharpened, so do that. <laughs> Must have smudged the design. <laughs> Made the schoolgirl error of not starting in the top left and moving out because I'm right handed. <laughs> sharpen the chalk. Um, I've ordered a separate sharpener because it doesn't actually, this doesn't fit into standard size ones so I'm using <laughs> my makeup sharpener for the time being and um, you know because it's got a chunky bit and that's why I've ordered a separate one so I can actually start using my eyeliner again. <laughs> because they're actually quite hard to draw and it must have taken me about 10 times so pretty happy with this little fella I hope he'll be racing some of your designs soon I can't think when the desk is this messy <laughs> I've actually got a, a rare social event to go to this afternoon so what I'm going to do now is set a couple of timers for two sort of blocks of an hour and a half, two hours of work. And then I'm gonna get ready because I was very tempted to want to get all the sort of tidying and prep stuff done before doing work with the excuse of, oh, once that's off my mind, I can focus on work. But what's probably gonna happen is I'll just drag it out and then not do work. And then I'm gonna be stressed and not enjoy the event. So I'm gonna do the work first. It's all stuff that really just is common sense and being productive, but you've really you've really got to remind yourself sometimes if you're prone to procrastinating and putting things off like I am. Time is set for an hour and a half. Let's go.
I've managed to work solidly for the last hour and a half and I've managed to get five of the chalk drawings edited in the last hour and a half which is great because I think that's roughly that's sort of the most I, I expect to realistically do in, um, in that time frame and um, it's been quite nice because with some of the flourishes and the other lines that I was doing earlier some of them were taking like half an hour each to do and um, which isn't too bad, but then when you kind of think of the, the sheer quantity of the things called the edit, you think, oh no, I'm going to be here forever. Um, so that that was encouraging, though, that I was actually getting through things a bit speedier. What I'm going to do now is take a cake break. I've got to, I've got to make a cake because I'm going to a barbecue party. Um, so that'll be quite a nice little kind of change of change of scene and work. So now after I've done that, I'll come back and try not to eat the cake and come back to work. <laughs> This is the final illustration for the weddings section of images in the chalk pack. I kind of drew this thinking it looked quite nice as twinkly fairy lights, but once I came to cleaning up and editing it, it doesn't really look that great to be honest. Um, I'm not particularly happy with that and don't want to, obviously I don't want to include stuff that I'm not happy with. So I had a look online for some ideas of how other people are drawing or selling chalk renderings of fairy lights and a lot of these do seem to be done digitally they're not actual scans of original drawings but what one common theme seems to be that they all have this very simple loop to them so they're all looped or a straight line which I think makes them a lot more versatile so what I'm going to do is redraw that with a much simpler line and design and hopefully that'll be a much better thing to include in the pack. I mean, although I say it's myself, this is really good. <laughs>